We'll start with a GitHub flow. The GitHub flow is the simplest workflow. Each of the white circles in the graph represent Git commits. The GitHub flow begins by creating a feature branch off of the main branch. While checked out to the feature branch, we would make some number of changes until we feel like our feature is ready to be reviewed by others and undergo automated testing. We would then upload our changes to GitHub by using the git push command. This action is commonly known as pushing our commits. After pushing our changes, we would open what's known as a pull request. A pull request is the equivalent of a merge request in GitLab. The opening of the pull request should trigger automated testing of the changes located on the feature branch. Once the changes have been reviewed and verified, the feature branch is merged into the main branch. Now let's take a look at the git flow. The git flow is the most complex of the three workflows. The git flow utilizes a long-lived develop branch as the default branch from which developers create feature branches. The git flow also utilizes release branches, which are created off of the develop branch. If a bug is found during testing on the release branch, a bug fix can be applied to the release branch and then merged back into the develop branch. Release branches are then merged into the main branch, and main is tagged with the release version using a git tag. In a perfect world, the changes merged from the release branch into the main branch are bug-free. Since it is unrealistic to expect that this is the case every time a release branch is merged, the git flow includes hotfix branches. The hotfix branch is created directly off of the main branch to quickly address issues introduced by the changes that are now in production. In addition to merging the hotfix branch back into the main branch, it is also very important to merge the hotfix branch into the develop branch to ensure that any new development work incorporates the hotfix.